So let me share my screen. All right. Okay. It's, and also remember to record. I'm already recording. So we'll be learning about cars. Then we we'll use it to design something like this. Please, are we fine with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me open my sublime test. Let me create a new HTML file. <laughs> you are enjoying some code yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Sub zero. For me, I'm not even hearing it. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> card. No, no, it's just ah okay, okay, okay. But HTML. Let me create CSS file. Uh, I'll save it. Cat. Dot CSS. Okay. So I'll create my. Let me increase the font size. Okay. Cat. So today we'll be doing a lot of um, more of the box shadow. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so complete a space. So I would like to create a division tag. Okay, so I'll save it. Then we will learn how to use the CSS to style this um, this division tag to create um, um, okay. a card. So let me link my CSS, so regular link related to style, then CSS for that, then my card dot CSS, let me save, open it in a browser. Okay, so for now we have nothing. Let's move to our CSS. So let's call our div class. So as we all know that a div is just a container. So we can give it a width of let's say 25%. Oh, sorry, a width of 25%. And let's also give it a height. So let's take a height, for example, 450 pixels. And let's give it a background. So, a background as usual is that there's my color F9, F9. Okay, so let's save it, then refresh our browser. So, we have, I don't know if you can see it, let me give it a different color. No, no, gray, save it. Oh, okay. So, hope you can see it. Yeah. Okay, let me try to, let me try to position it in the center. So, I'll give it a margin of auto. Let me give it a margin top, and a margin top right. Margin top of let's say 10 pixels. Let me save. Yeah, okay. I think it's better we give it a different color so that we can do with the box shadow very well. So let's give it. <laughs> Okay. Um, sorry, is it my my network which is bad? Yeah, your net. I think it will be your network. No. It sounds goes before the, the oh. action. I think it's clear today. Okay. But I hope we've gotten what uh, where I've gotten to. Like you understand up to yeah. this point. Like. 
So yes, let's talk more about. From Mr. Mayor. So let's talk more of the box shadow. It's because of the shadow that we call it the card. So box shadow. So let's try to look at something. Um, we want to give the bottom, then the right. Hope you recall those um, information. The horizontal first, then the vertical, then to the blur and um, radius, then the. Yeah. Hope you remember yeah. that thing. The blur radius, then the spread radius, yeah. then the color. Yeah. And we said that um, yeah. the first one, which is the horizontal offset, when we give it a positive number. The shadow will be at the right hand side. So we can try it here. Let's give it okay. a number greater than zero. So let's give it five. Five pixels. Um and let's give the rest zero pixels. That's the vertical. Then let's give the blendness. Um, let's take for example eight pixel. Then we, we can forget the spread radio, that one is optional. Then let's give it a color of gray. Okay, so let's save it. So, hope you can see it at this place. Yeah, yeah. So, Let's try to give it um, a negative figure. Save it. So hope you can see it again. When we give it a negative figure, it falls at the left. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So I think maybe we should increase it so that um, we can see it all. So this is it. So let's move to the um, the vertical offset. And I said, if we give it a positive number, it falls at the bottom. So let's give it, um, let me give this one zero. Let me give it this one 16. Let me save it and refresh my browser. Please hope you can see it. Yeah. When we give it a positive number, it's first blue or an, at the bottom. And when we give it a negative figure, it's first at the top. To the top, yeah. So let's move to the um, blur radius. So we want it to fall at the bottom. So seven. Seven. Meaning that you want it at the right, right bottom. Right bottom. So this is it. So now let's move to the um, blur radius. So this refers to the blendness. So let me give it um, sixteen pixels. So as we increase the number, the blendness also increase. You see what can see? Yeah. As we increase the number, the blendness also increase. So let's take for example 50. We hope you can see it now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, let me include the um, spread radius. So the spread radius refers to the size. So 16. Um, let me give this one. Let me set it to zero first. So it will be more thick. Let me give this one 16 pixels. Save it. Please, you see? Yeah. Increase in size. Let me try to add more. 
let's say for example 20 pixels it increases in size yeah like the size was the step was a little small so we couldn't see it for 40 so we've seen the size yeah okay and then the last one is the color so we can use to we can choose to give it a raw color that's the color name or we can use the hexadecimal colors or the rgb rgb colors okay so um let me give this one nine and let me take this one off it's optional so something like this we call it a card okay when we design something like this we call it a card so we can use the card to create um i don't know sometimes you go to a shopping website they will have the picture of the item then a little description with um, a button maybe buy me or buy now or add to shopping cart i don't know if you yeah okay hi. we use you use something like this to design that one so let's try something different with this one so um let's move back then add some content to this div so first let's add some header to tag so i'll close this one and i'll say maybe uh, graphic design so this is something like a pricing table graphic design I don't know if you, you should do it step by step or you should first um, put the HTML parts and move to the CSS or we should do it step by step with the CSS along. Oh, you let's finish this part. Okay. Then after creating my first header, let me create another header three tag so under under the graphic design maybe i would like to state the price so okay. in html when we want to give the cd sign we use the end symbol then sent with a semicolon i don't know if this one is a semicolon also then maybe um the amount 500 500 per month I don't know if you get me. Then let me create an ordered list here. So I'll create a list. I'll create a list. And maybe we have personal um, use. I'll try to duplicate. Okay paste maybe so when you buy this offer you have the chance to personalize it then you have the unlimited so you can say maybe limited five days or so depending on how you want you want it then maybe you can add 24 7 um, 24 7 support then we can add um, a button i want to center the button so i'll create a button inside there so the button i'll buy i'll add buy now I don't know if 
you've got you've gotten it up to this place yeah so now we can move to our css can we move to the css oh, hold on let's finish typing okay a minute please okay Okay. All right. So we can move on. So I will see. Mr. Are you cool? Yeah, I'm good. Then I'll okay. refresh. I'll refresh it. I'll refresh my browser. So this is what we have. So let's style yeah. it. Okay. So let's move to the CSS. It seems that we've already called our div tag. So let's code what is inside our dev class. So let's first call our header to tag. That's the graphic design. And let's style it. So all the header to tags. Okay, so we can say that um, it's test align. So we can set it to center. We want to center it. Then we want to give it spaces around it. So, pardon. Then we will give it a pattern of 10 pixels. Yeah. And we can give it a background color. We can take um, gray. Then let's increase this the font size as you see here uh, is very small so you want to increase the font size so font size then you will state maybe we have the various units of measurement we have the pixels and we have the em so i can state something like this two em and this is much bigger than the pixels yeah okay. it's much bigger than the pixels then we can select a font size that um font style that we want so in choosing a font uh, style that we want in html we see font family font family so you can state that maybe you want impact then we want to close any spaces around it so margin zero pixels so we can save it and have a look i don't know if you are cool with that yeah so we save it then try to have it so this is the header two okay Okay, so let's move to the second part. Then let's tie it. So that one was a header three tag. So let's call the header three tag. You can use the header two and the header three and div only if they are the tags that is a single tag that we have. So supposing we have yeah. a different div here, we can use the tag name as div. To start it, yeah, unless you can give it a class, yeah. So the header three, let's give it a let's center it to so, test align center. 
then let's give it a padding. Once we copy the above and edit them, the the H two, the header two. Well, oh, we are, are not going to use all. We are not going to use all. I don't. Know. Let's try so a padding of twenty five. Then we can also give it a background. It seems the same for a background. Let's give this one to light gray so that this one will be different from the header two. Okay. Then the font size. Let's give this one the 1.5 so it will be smaller than the header two. Then the margin. You will close all gaps to zero pixels. So can we have a view of what we've done so far? Yeah. Yeah. Save. So this is it. We have our city sign here, 500 cities per month. So let's have this um, on ordered list. So let's first call the UL. Let's give it a less style type set to none. And let's give it a pattern to so spaces around it, seven pixels. And let's give it a background, which is different from the first one, so we can choose white. Then let's set the height to maybe 230 pixels. Then we don't want spaces around it, so zero pixels. So we've started our UL. Let's move to the allies so the allies um, you can give it a space around it that's the pattern maybe 15 pixels then we we'll give it a special um, space at the top so pattern um, top let's give it 30 pixels. Then let's give it a border at the bottom. So border, bottom. So let's choose one pixel solid um, black. Then we should align them at the center. So we can save it have a look just wait a bit okay Okay, I'm okay now. I don't know if Mr. Mia is okay. Mr. Mia. Hello. 
Yeah, yeah, please. I'm okay now. I forgot to put the thing on mute. Okay, Sorry. okay. So let's save it and try to refresh. So this is what we have. Now let's start our button. Our button here. So you call our button here. Then first, let's give it a width. A width. We don't want it to take the full width, so let's take ninety-five. Way better. Then let's give it a height of let's say sixty pixels. Let's take off the borders around it so border we we'll set to zero pixels then you want a curve edges so you can use the border radius let's set to 10 pixel then let's give it um a background so a background mm. So we have a light green so which background do you think will match with a light green background we have a light green background here or we should set it to a different the background to a different color and we use the green oh you can use green itself on it okay so background let's give it green okay then let's give the test color to so color let's give it white then let's increase the, the font a little bit so font size to 20 pixel Then you set um you bold it a little bit so let's use font width. So let's set to bolder. We have bold bolder hundred, two hundred up to nine hundred. Then let's give it a margin top. Margin top. So seven pixels so. I don't know if we can have a look of what we've done so far um, yeah I'm okay Okay. I'm also okay. So let's refresh. So this is it. We've created wow. a pricing table. Wow. Okay.